Welcome back to Tip TV Health. We're talking about mental health now. The next specialised subject is schizophrenia. I've got to say, I can't actually spell it, let alone really understand what it's all about. Uh, Dr Charlie from Harley, schizophrenia. Yeah, it's a fascinating condition, uh, Moose. Um, it's been mischaracterized a lot. Um, people use words like schizo, and they think about someone with schizophrenia being extremely violent and aggressive. The fact is that this is a condition that affects one in a hundred people worldwide. So it's a very, very common condition. Right. And clearly, not everyone with schizophrenia is committing uh, severe crimes. So what we as a society need to realize is you've got a common condition. Now, what goes on within schizophrenia is a disorder of the way the mind works. And there are what we call negative symptoms and positive ones. So included in the negative might be what we call thought insertion. So I could be sitting here and I could suddenly believe that radio waves are transmitting thoughts into my head. Or I could look at a traffic light and I could see that as a signal from some alien intelligence telling me that I needed to do something different. Okay, so I remember there was a, a famous Scottish goalkeeper and he announced that he had some sort of schizophrenic tendencies mm. and the fans on the terrace then went there's only two Andy Gorms. Yeah, that's awful. So that's is, awful. Is it literally, is it No, it's not split personality. So again, that shows the fans' ignorance and this is why we're talking about mental health. So schizophrenia is not a split personality. That's a total myth. Right. It's a disordered of the way the mind works. But the fascinating thing is some of our cleverest people had schizophrenia. So have For you example, seen the film uh, A Beautiful Mind? I've not seen it. Okay, that. which Russell Crowe playing a uh, mathematician called John Nash, who uh, suffered from schizophrenia, after he was diagnosed, he won the Nobel Prize. He came up with game theory. So a whole bunch of Tip TV finance stuff is based on the intelligent analysis that this man came up with. Right. But in terms of, if I see somebody, and they say, oh, I've got schizophrenia. I know mm. one of my very close friends was sitting, having a cup of coffee, somebody sat next to him and said, oh, I've just been diagnosed with schizophrenia. And yeah. straight away, yeah. it was like, oh, there's a firewall here, Absolutely. I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. Right, so in terms of the percentage, the one in the hundred, yeah. okay, how many of those people are violent? Very few, and this is what we now as a society need to realise. There was a brilliant advert recently by the Schizophrenia Society where they had the psycho music, the da-da-da-da-da, and then they showed a lovely family, and the man was having a cup of tea with his missus and said, I'm a schizophrenic this is what our normal life is like it's not the image that the media would normally portray so what we know is a lot of people have schizophrenia they need support from society and from their families right because they're very sensitive to criticism and that can make it worse so if in the simplest form a man in the pub comes up to me and says hello moose my name's fred i'm a schizophrenic mm. i shouldn't be scared of him no i should have dialogue with him Absolutely. i should buy him half a bitter yeah okay and talk normally yeah i think you should try and talk normally obviously if he's talking because he's having a bad attack and he's talking about aliens and visitations and things like that you're fair to say i understand you're having problems at the moment is there anything else I can do or is there anyone I should call to assist you? Right. Because you want that person to be safe. So would that person announce that they, they're going through some sort of attack? Some people have insight when they're having an attack. Unfortunately, uh, some people don't. Uh, so their behavior becomes increasingly bizarre. Uh, we mentioned negative and positive symptoms. Uh, some, some of the other symptoms that may occur, people don't look after themselves. So they've lost that ability to wash properly, dress properly, and so they may appear in that way, and that may be the clue that they're right. suffering from a schizophrenia. So in terms of taking my relationship with them forwards, mm. what, what can I do to help the situation? Okay, well, I think the main thing is it's being non-critical, uh, trying to be supportive. Obviously, you're not a psychological expert, so yep. you can't be expected to do more than that. Then the community health trust uh, should try and support them in the community. We don't believe in just locking people up anymore right. because they used to get terribly abused. And uh, you know what happened in the film Cuckoo's Nest and all of that. So the community approach to looking after schizophrenia is where we should be. Understood. Okay, let's take a very quick break and then we're going to come back for the next part of the Tip TV Health. Thank you.